Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Friends, in this video we will see this 12 stage binary counter that is CD4040 IC It is a CMOS IC It is a ripple counter and each stage works as a master slave The first input will give output at pin number 9 and it will be divided by 2 because the working phenomena of this counter is when the pulse will reach at trailing edge this is the rising edge and this one is the trailing edge when it will reach at trailing edge it will switch the next stage at first trailing edge at this pulse if the pin number 3 that is low it will go high at next trailing edge even at in the clock input at next trailing edge it will switch the next cycle when it is going to trailing edge it is high to low it will switch the next stage so each stage is interlaced with the second one if here is the input this is the output and this is output it will become input for the next stage it is the Q2 Q1 Q2 in CMOS technology in TTL ICs when the word Q is used that means it is output number 1 so Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 it have 12 outputs normally the pin number 11 it is connected to ground pin to activate this IC to enable this IC pin 11 must be grounded anytime it will high it will reset the circuit from 000 as we see the timing pulse when all pulses are zero at first pulse trailing edge the first output will go high trailing edge of the output number one will cause to shuffle the next output so this is the working phenomena the outputs are defined or we can say categorized with these numbers it is output number one that is pin number nine seven for test purpose I connected 220 ohm in series with LED all resistors are 220 ohm I am using 5 volt supply I connected the ground line here 220 ohm resistor as I mentioned in the diagram each LED is connected to its respective pin number by means of these jumpers I connected supply to pin number 16 5 volt ground to pin number 8 in this condition I connected pin number 11 with pin number 1 so the last test output that is Q12 when it will go high it will reset the circuit and the circuit will start counting from 0 again this time I applied 5 hertz signal that is here and our circuit is behaving like this now we can see the clock speed is less if I will put 10 Hertz now it is moving fastly if I will put 50 Hertz it is more speedy and the pulses that is the input clock pulse that is provided on the input side if I will put 100 Hertz its switching speed is more 1 kilohertz now it is very fast at 10 kilohertz we can see because it is switching very speedy so we cannot observe these, li these lines so it is 10 kilohertz 1 megahertz at 1 megahertz the total duration is too much less that our eyes cannot observe it so it is 1 megahertz switch to 1 hertz now it is slowed down and if you don't have a function generator signal generator let me remove it in that condition you can make a manual trigger signal 
by means of a push button 10 kilo ohm resistance resistance one end will be connected to ground and this is the output will will which will connect it to pin number 10 here in this case i was connecting uh, external signal but if you want to test manually in that case 5 volt will apply to one side of the switch one side of the switch 5 volt the second side I connected 10k resistance and resistor one end is grounded and this pin will go to pin number 10 it is going to pin number 10 of the IC so that when we will press it will pass 5 volt signal like this and when the switch is open at that time pin number 10 will connect it to ground it is a pull down resistor in any TTL CMOS ICs if we don't use pull down resistor or pull up resistor this IC will go in floating and the IC will work as a random behavior we can test now manually And our this switch is now being displayed on the oscilloscope. Now we can see the result on the oscilloscope. This is the signal. This is due to the pull down resistors. Now we can see the response of this switch that this signal does not float. When we remove the switch, when we press it provides 5 volt pulse when we, remo when we remove at that time it remains low we can provide some function generator some signal generator and this circuit will now work as an automatic counter or we can use as a manual counter I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.